in the last video, I have been mainly talking about um, the importance of molecular simulation in understanding protein lipid interactions. Now, um, I haven't highlighted this, but protein lipid interactions were very difficult to do experimentally because it's it's a phase different, right? It doesn't dissolve in water. So we have to come up with ways to look at it. The other thing that is very hard to look at experimentally and MD has been a very useful tool to look at is water. So water um, is H2O and <laughs> we use that to solvate the box, but it's not just that because water can involve in the drug binding site. So you can see here on our on my PowerPoint that there is a work done by Matteo Algi Al Aldehi and in Phil Biggin's group where um, the work look at the binding affinity of these four water molecules in the bromo domain, which is the, the molecules which could bind to a modified um, histones residues. And this is the method called double decoupling, where you know water is being turned from one state to the other state. And this is one of the application of the free energy calculation again. And we use that to look at the importance of the water in the binding pocket. Um, we can also use different, so talking about water. So water is also greatly involved in the process of iron permeation through the pore. So there are, um, if you are a crystographer, you might be familiar with the technique called hole, which um, looking at um, the size of the pore, so the pore geometry as you expand things and squeeze things through a central cavity of um, an iron channel or pore. But now that technique is being developed further and we have a technique called CHAP where what we have is input structure, we put them in a simulation and we can use that to assess not only just the radius of a pore, but also hydrophobicity, the water density and the free energy of water permeation through the pore, which is then become a very useful tool because water, as water permeate through, if water cannot permeate through the pore, it's impossible for ions to be able to get through the pore as well. So it provide a very much greater um, annotation to whether an ion, ch ion channel is open or closed. So I'm going to end this talk here and remember that water is not just to solvate the box, but water is also greatly involved in the ligand binding site, um, in the binding site of a protein. And water could also be used to look at um, how ions can permeate through the pore as well as just, solve, just solvating the box. And you can think of it as it does just water, but there's different water models available for your calculation if you're interested. Thank you very much and see you in the practical session.